Ah, it's you again. <laughs> a little better, thanks. Oh, and we owe it all to you. That's great! Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is doing the trick. Traveler! You Envoy? You mean a, a diplomat or something? Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady there by the name of Adeline invites you to meet with her as honored guests of the winery. Oh, we know Adeline. She's the head housemaid there, right? Ah, it seems that you and Adeline are already acquainted then. Then it is my great honor to join you. Hey, so can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because Paimon can't seem to understand a single word. All right, all right. My dear friends, it is time to move out. Paimon hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with. Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. Thanks for the invite! You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon tea. Dearest Adeline, on behalf of Her Majesty Miss Fischl, the Princessin de Varotalong, and I, mine Fräulein's humble servant, Thank you for inviting us. <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy it takes way too long to introduce yourselves. My goodness, an adventurer of such distinguished status. My pale-faced proselyte, how dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? In fact, one of our employees here at the Dawn Winery, a Mr. Hartman, fell victim to the meteorite incident in Springvale. I hear that you are the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hartman is now awake. We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. This aside, there is a separate matter which I should like to enlist your help with. Aw, oh, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would have done. You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants, for the glory of my majesty will flash eternal in the Vale of Springdom. Oz, hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um, so what she's trying to say is, y you're welcome? I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. The business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between the two regions, 
a single round trip taking several days in total. Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorite struck. The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As audacious as it may be, all I can do is ask you for assistance. Okie dokie, don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All delivery staff pass through there on their return from Liyue. There were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben. Monstad carts, both loaded up with wine. Have you seen them? Hmm. Sorry, I don't think so. Okay then, we'll keep asking around. Uh. Uh. Hello, have you seen any Monstad merchants traveling through here? You know, the ones with all the wine. Oh, I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. I'm not the right person to ask. Oh, uh, okay then. The world is eternal. Youth is ephemeral. Hello. Uh, we're looking for a couple of cards originally from Mondstadt. Have you seen them? From Mondstadt, you say? You know, I think I did see one pass through here. Really? Which way did it go? Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was going towards Mondstadt. Thanks, mister! Now to chase down that cart! me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through this way, I would have been a goner for sure. <sighs> so, which one are you, Ben or 
are Fritz. Huh? Uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Yeah, we're your official search party. Per Adeline's wishes, we came here specifically to find you and ensure your well-being. Ah, uh, I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dewall Marsh and Stone Gate. It got hit by a meteorite, so... <sighs> anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I just hadn't factored in the part about getting ambushed by monsters along the way. <sighs> I really hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the poor guy's been out there a long time. Now... I keep worrying that the same thing will have happened to him. Can you guys go bring him to safety? Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? Leave it to us! My pale faced proselyte for a sharp pain now of. Is the guy on the floor sleeping? I believe so. I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Looks like he touched the meteorite. Just like the others. If by meteorite, you mean the rock that struck the cart. Worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. But by others. Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? One has witnessed with one's own Ogda for Ertalung the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the Valley of Demon Bone. It has caused great suffering for the humble peasants in the Vale of Springdom, many of whom still battle this wretched affliction even as we speak. As Main Fräulein most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt, where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Their symptoms are identical to those of this poor gentleman here. Is that so? It appears these meteorites really made quite an impact. Seems this guy is dressed like a winery worker. And we've already met Ben, so this one must be Fritz. Given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features, I must conclude that Paimon is blessed with exceptionally acute eyesight. Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal, Paimon just has a really great memory. You're right, though, his clothes don't really stand out that much. Especially not compared to this guy over here. <laughs> and by this guy over here, you mean me. Yep, Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like you before. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Prinzessin de Ertelung, responding to the cry of my people in their hour of need. 
I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz the Raven. And Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Havonius's best friend. Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Favonius. Behold my people, your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not despair, for judgment by thundering retribution is nigh. And it shall surely purge the seeds of nefarious nightmares that now sow chaos across the land. Um, excuse me? Don't mind her, just, you know, let her do her thing. Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, great! Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy's fast asleep, and he won't wake up. Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, I am no longer needed. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now, so I shall take my leave. Adventurers, I wish you every success in your endeavors. So, what happened was, we came here looking for someone, and found them... Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to the Disaster Relief Station. Disaster Relief Station? You mean like a big tent with guards outside? Correct. We have established a Disaster Relief Station at Wangshu Inn where the unconscious victims of the meteorite strike can receive due medical attention. A wise decision by the Millilith. Hyman can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. We should really go check up on him. <sighs> I suppose I shall deign to join you for one further excursion. as in Springville. This cruel curse of cold spreads without mercy. Oh, heaven on high, tell us how we have angered you so. Hey, keep your voice down. There are a lot of people here. Might I suggest we make some inquiries and see where it takes us? Who are you? We've been commissioned by the Adventurers Guild to investigate the meteorite strike. Do you mind if we take a quick look at this victim? I see. Very well, Adventurers. You may take a look. That's okay. Hi, wonders what he's dreaming about. Hmm. Probably that one about the mountain and the ice and snow. Fritz does not appear to be here. Let us keep looking. It's another sleeping victim! His soul is in anguish, ensnared by a thousand thorns. His suffering is pitiable. May he soon know peace at last. Peace at last? Um, surely you don't mean... Main Fräulein simply wishes him a speedy recovery. Beyond this, there is no hidden meaning to her words. Come on, Fritz. Where are you? <laughs> Oh, no. 
another sleeper. Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel cross of calamity by barbaric blades born of some baleful blasphemy. There is but one means of awakening those who slumber, and that is to rain down thundering retribution. Precisely, main Fräulein. If we dispose of the meteorites, the sleepers will be sure to wake. This is so weird. That Millilith guy promised he was going to bring Fritz here, didn't he? So why can't we find him anywhere? Hmm. Let's go see what the innkeeper has to say. That looks like an ordinary worker from Mondstadt? Yeah, the Millilith arrived with several new victims not long ago. Due to the limited capacity in the tent, I had to place the new arrivals in the upstairs guest rooms. Okay, well, could you give him a message when he wakes up? Tell him he needs to get back to the Dawn Winery as soon as possible, and let Adeline know that he's safe and sound. <sighs> I will be more than happy to. And if I may be so bold, adventurers, I too have a request for you. Please tell us, what is troubling you? Pray tell of thy troubles, that one might better understand them. I understand from the mill of the soldiers that you are investigating the meteorite strike. This made me wonder. Perhaps my friends from Mondstadt have already found a means of curing the victims. From what we've seen so far, all you need to do is get rid of the meteorites and the sleepers... Is that so? Then, if I understand you correctly, the meteorites are the cause of the victims' unconsciousness? Yep. In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meteorites in the vicinity of the inn? Oh, wonderful. You have my gratitude. is that? This meteorite is way bigger than the others.
The seeds of nefarious nightmares appear to have taken firm root. Though my magic arrow of midnight purges them in an instant, they return with a vengeance. <sighs> it would make a mockery of the majesty of the Princessin de Fertelung. Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue to fall relentlessly in each corner of your vast domain. In which case, I fear... The strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedort, have traversed a thousand worlds. And yet never before have I faced such a formidable foe. This menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse, I say. A curse has been placed upon the mortal realm. <gasps> a curse? Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous cries of unanswered longing. Lost amidst the unpredictability and impermanence of fate. How very tragic. Is this the inevitable fate of mankind? It grieves me greatly, no matter how many times I hear of it. Paimon didn't quite get the part about the thing being lost inside the other thing, but basically, these meteorites are a curse? Were they not a curse upon humanity, why then should they send humans into slumber? <sighs> to be lost twixt life and death in an unending dream, is the most dreadful fate imaginable for any living being. We must underestimate the magnitude of this matter no more. I fear this sinister force can withstand even the sum of all of our powers combined. Traveler, 
fetch me the one fated to face this fearsome foe. And who might that be? Main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise should be summoned to deal with this matter. She wonders if you know of any person skilled in the undoing of curses? Um... Um... Ugh. Paimon can't think of anybody either. Maybe we should just go ask Catherine. The hour of destiny is upon you. I have invoked the sacred covenant between us, and now you must respond to the call. Hmm, let me see. Are you saying you require an assistant? Whoa, she got it in one. Catherine must be super smart. Unfortunately not, though I do know of an astrologist. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is currently in Mondstadt. Do you know her? Never mind. Please wait here a moment. I will see if she is available. We get to meet a real-life astrologist? You seem frantic. What's the matter? Mona, I'd like to introduce you to some adventurers from the guild. They've run into some problems and we're hoping that you, with your astrological abilities, may be able to resolve them. Who are they now? <laughs> Good call. I'm pleasantly surprised that they've heard of the astrologist of the century. So, you must be the one who needed my help. Come on then. Give me the lowdown. I may be willing to offer my skills. It all depends on the situation. Astrology is an ancient and mysterious art. If your problem is a banal one, you can count me out, as I have better things to do. So... Here's what's happened. And all of this was caused by the meteor shower. This, I was not expecting. The darkness consumes every corner of the land. And in the fading twilight, only the princessin and her retinue still stand. Ms. Mona, your means are most crucial to our ends. Huh? Are you all together, then? I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nofferdot, Prinzessin der Verurtelung and I hereby extend to you the great honor of joining my retinue. Princess der Verur Tailung. I'm sorry, which nation are you a princess of? 
I hail from a distant and long-lost land known as the Imanachreich. The in my what, Reich? <sighs> Alas, precious few mere mortals know of the Imanachreich. Oh, mere mortal? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I am a highly accomplished astrologist, thank you very much. Just give me one second with my scry glass. Then we'll see where exactly this homeland of yours features in your personal history. Ms. Mona, I humbly beseech you to refrain from probing the question of Main Fräulein's homeland. Revisiting the tragic tale of that world's demise always causes her much anguish. Surely a wise mage such as yourself can sympathize with a princess's grief for her lost kingdom. No, but... Um, yes, you're quite right. So, the goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up, am I right? Understood. All right then, don't you worry. I will lend you a hand. First things first, though. We need to get out of the city. There's too much magical disturbance here. Let's head somewhere where the ley line flow is a little smoother. open space, clear sky. This will do nicely. I will now begin the process of hydromancy. Stay back and do not impede my vision. It looked awesome! Oh, Astral Emissary, have thine eyes now discerned the secrets of the stars? Yeah, what did you find out? How strange. I've never seen this before. The divination shows that these meteorites came from someone's constellation. Constellation? But... They don't have anything to do with real astrology, do they? That's what most people tend to think, but I've studied astrology for a very long time and I know a few things about them that you might not. The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, are genuine celestial bodies in the depths of space. They are not simply notional. The strange thing is that they turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this happened, I am not yet sure. I need some time. A curse! A wretched curse, I say! A curse? I too have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and glimpsed a shred of the truth. There, I saw a world cursed by human malice. Only one who died the most agonizing of deaths could leave behind such a vengeful spirit. We must interrogate the population, find the doer of this diabolical deed, 
The one who created this sinister specter is the true killer. Sorry, I'm not quite following you. What curse and what killer? Uh, don't take every word she says too literally. What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically winking at me? Oh. Oh, I understand. Thou dost? <laughs> Marvelous! The Astral Emissary understands at last. Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. Welcome to the team, Mona. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our solemn duty to dispel this darkness once and for all. Honored? <laughs> You should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for half the results. <laughs> Paimon likes you, Mona. You seem like the real deal. <laughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Feel free to keep the compliments coming. With my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locations of the fallen meteorites for you. I need to look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you find anything else out. Don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect goes, this will be a piece of cake. <laughs>